Hello everyone. So uh, this is Professor Sneer Nagaukar here. Uh, so as we all know that uh, during this pandemic situation, it is quite difficult to attend the classes regularly. So as a part of uh, your study, we need to organize the classes for you. So uh, we have decided to conduct online classes for you. And uh, as you all know that. Uh, uh, a lot of subjects you need to learn and practice a lot. So you need to put equal efforts for uh, studying and as well as learn the subjects uh, thoroughly. Okay, so this time I'm going to handle the software engineering for you. So this is a theoretical subject. So we will be conducting online classes for you as well as we'll be updating the videos uh, for you and uh, you please do subscribe to my channel so that you can upload uh, or you can uh, download the data related to the study so once when you subscribe to this uh, channel you will start getting the updates and you will get all the videos related to your subject okay so this time i'm going to handle software engineering for you so you are having uh, the syllabus as you know that uh, I think it is of 50 hours. So um, in this you will be having 5 units. Okay. So each unit is uh, weighted for 10 hours. Okay. So uh, once uh, when I upload uh, the data then you can go through the videos and uh, I want to tell you as a part of a study, whenever you have any queries, you can personally mail me or you can just put it into the comment so that I could easily uh, respond back to your queries, okay? So, uh, one thing uh, I would like to tell you is that, so first class we will be having about the introduction, uh, what is all about software engineering and in that I will be telling you what are the modules, okay? and how exactly uh, this subject is going to work all right yes so uh, starting with the basic introduction today uh, you all know the term software you all are very much aware of what is the term software right so uh, this you had learned in your first semester also i hope i don't need to talk more about what is software or what is the history of computers or what are the generations of our computers uh, what are all, all the logical gates, what are the circuits uh, and what are the number systems you all are very much aware of all these things right so I don't need to put more effort on explaining all these things but you need to quickly revise all the things that is uh, like you need to revise about uh, the computer fundamentals okay you need to revise about uh, the basics of all the computers right so uh, because it will help you somewhere to get a link between the subject right so till today you all know that what is a software right you know what are programs you are aware of what are different uh, programming languages you are also aware of what is hardware what is uh, the difference between hardware and software you also know what are the various uh, digital circuits you know what is a processor all these things right so uh, what is the relation of all these subjects with the software engineering right so you might have heard about uh, the term engineering right so in engineering what you all are going to do so in engineering we are going to develop new theories okay uh, we are going to develop new things by applying some methods and principles isn't it so same way what is software engineering software engineering uh, is all about what the development of a software so you all might have heard about like uh, when you go to the final year you need to develop a project isn't it so what is that project all about or what is that project what is that it is nothing but exactly building a software right exactly developing a new software or bringing in uh, the new idea okay and implementing that into a software so all these things uh, you are going to learn in software engineering where basically you will focus on how to develop a software how to build a uh, software okay so this is not a programming subject 
This is a subject which will tell you about the procedures, methods and principles of developing of a software and what exactly is needed for building a software or we can say that what exactly uh, methods are needed and how you are going to document that and what is the way you begin okay to develop a software or how do you continue with this software development or what are the steps that are taken during the project or the software development for you people you can take it as a project right so when you go and join any company at that time uh, you can think of a real project or a real software development right but as if now uh, you can take it as a software or you can take it as a project so let us take it as a project right and uh, uh, when we want to develop a new system or a new project so how exactly you begin that or how exactly you start working on that or what are the steps that you do to uh, develop that software all right one small example i will tell you Suppose there is an event in your college, say we have a freshers day, right? So you need to organize a freshers day. So how will you organize this freshers day? Or what are the steps that you carry to conduct this freshers day? So initially what you will do, you will list out the names of all your new uh, friends or uh, the new students, those who have joined the college and then uh, you conduct some activities for them then you sort out uh, the ranks okay and uh, then you give prizes for them all these activities you will do right same way it's very exciting to build a project or it is very exciting to develop a software so what do you exactly do in the software development so same way we begin with the collection of information and then playing with the information, sorting the information, finalizing the information and then start coding on that and then start testing that data. All these things are needed whenever you develop a software, right? It is not just like you write a program and execute it and you will get it back. No, it's not like that. So whenever you need to develop a software, so many other things are needed to be considered, isn't it? So whenever uh, a project has to be built, okay, so what exactly uh, we do to develop a software? Interesting? Yes. So in the very first lecture, so I am going to tell you, I will introduce you to some basic ideas of what is software engineering and I will highlight uh, your syllabus, okay? And then we shall begin. Okay? Alright? So, see you then and all the best. Bye.